Gustazo means great pleasure in Spanish, and this Waltham restaurant's owner, Patricia Estorino, wants a meal here to be just that. This is probably the quintessential Cuban dish. It is slow roasted pork with hungry rice, caramelized onions, and sweet plantains. Estorino was a professional dancer before she left Cuba with her musician husband, Adolfo de la Vega, and moved to Massachusetts in 2001. We saw a lack of uh, Cuban cuisine representation in Boston. So we started in a very teeny space just to see what, what happened, and it worked out well. Well enough that the pair grew out of their space twice, then opened a second location in Cambridge. I'm interested in keeping the basic core flavors of, of the cuisine, but also hopefully be creative and, and explore new things. Estorino merges classic Cuban dishes like chicharrones, crispy pork belly, with contemporary garnishes, a mojo glaze, malanga puree, and fried shallots. There's also serrano ham croquettes with aioli and guava glazed baby back ribs served on a hearts of palm and pineapple puree topped with pickled beets. There's a lot more that, that goes beyond rice, beans and sweet plantains and pork. And while Estorino curates the cuisine, De La Vega pours his passion into the dining room's design. It was that from the panels in, in Cambridge? Movie posters created by Cuban artists line the walls, and the support columns are wrapped like cigars. The map of Cuba back there, the different leaves uh, represent the most prominent tobacco plantation in that province. These custom creations also carry sentimental meaning for the couple. Tobacco has a very important role in my life because when I came uh, in 2001, my husband and I, all that we carry was Cuban cigars, and we sold them, and that's all the money we had. We pay our rent for like a long time. <laughs> While their native country remains in the past, Gustazo helps keep their connection to the culture present. I've been getting closer to those roots through the food. Merengue is Hector Pina's homage to the Dominican Republic, the island nation he emigrated from in 1986. People, when they want like authentic Dominican, they come to Merengue. He opened a smaller version of the restaurant in 1994, then moved to this larger space on Blue Hill Avenue in Roxbury in 2001. Hi, how are you? Merengue is the first of three restaurants Pina opened in Boston, each dedicated to a specific island cuisine. The Gigantes is a taste of Puerto Rico, situated in the South End. Doña Habana is Cuban, located in Roxbury on the South End Line. It's also the first Latino-owned restaurant inside a hotel in Massachusetts. Any restaurant that we try to open, we try to really uh, integrate in whatever we're doing and, and bring the uh, authentic. That authenticity is palpable on the plates at Merengue starting with the mofongo. Mofongo is like a concoction of plantain, uh, pork greens, and uh, garlic, and a little bit of salt is mashed together. The savory mash is served with a side of chicken broth used to soften it. There's also the pollo frito, fried chicken with a Latin flair. Sofrito and a little bit of adobo and some lime, that brings like a, a, a very unique flavor. And a sweet side for the table, bolitos, yuca turnovers stuffed with cheese. My favorite actually is my friend David Ortiz. Merenque's menu has caught the eyes and filled the stomachs of many celebrities, politicians, and professional athletes. We have catered the Red Sox. I think it's been over 20 years. Like the fast-paced music and dance it's named for, Merengue has the power to transport you to the Dominican Republic without leaving Boston. When people come and eat here, uh, some dishes bring them back, you know, the memory of the grandmother or their mothers back in the island. And Hector Pino is about to open his fourth restaurant, mm. Salatro Latin Kitchen. It's fast, casual, a lighter Latin fare. It's going to open later this year on Tremont Street in Roxbury. And back to Gustazo, they just finished an expansion in the back of the restaurant where they're planning to host live music. 
The problem is they haven't been able to open it yet because, as we've heard from so many restaurants, there's a shortage of workers. So the space is ready. Mm. When the workers get there, they'll have live music as well. All right. Next, Real Deal Tacos <laughs> in Boston.